A spring tradition returns to the Tri-State later this month. The Tri-Fest is coming to downtown Henderson. The first street festival of the year kicks off the season with fun, food, and plenty to do. And joining us now to get us ready for the Tri-Fest is Rose Wheeler from the Henderson Breakfast Lions group, that group that puts on this event. And Rose, thank you so much for joining us today and talking a little bit about this. For anyone who may not know what Tri-Fest is, tell us what it is. Tri-Fest is just an opportunity for the community to come out, uh, gather outside for the first time for the season. And it is the spring kickoff for all of the outdoor events. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's so much to do. You've got like, uh, I, I really think food though is the biggest draw of all, right? Food is the biggest draw. Even though we partner with the uh, Diabetes Coalition, <laughs> <laughs> that's part of one of our uh, uh, goals is to help diabetes. And um, so we don't do that one quite as well with our <laughs> a tri -fest, Well, you have, you have all kinds of options, though, as far as festival Absolutely. food goes. And speaking of mm -hmm. that, that munchie map for yes. tri -fest, which you have in your hand right yes. there, mm -hmm. just uh, was released. I know we have it on our website, tristatehomepage.com, and folks mm -hmm. can find that all over the place. So what, what's your favorite thing on there? Um, my favorite thing is uh, one of several. I mean, just several around the map. So yeah. I can't pick one. You can't one. pick one because there's so many good ones. Yes, yeah, yes. yes. But, but there, there's a great variety of things. There really for is. And you can choose. just, one person can get what they want at one place and someone else can get something down the way. And it's yeah, always absolutely. fun just going on. The other big thing, of course, that, that a lot of kids love are all the rides. Yes. Are there any ticket specials, anything like that going on right now? Or? We have not heard of any as okay. of yet. We are uh, still talking with the uh, Carnival. Mm -hmm. They are on vacation this week, so oh. I promise <laughs> not to bother them. But uh, we are hoping to have more information on prices, bracelets, oh, good, and things good. like so that. So that's coming up, so yes. stay tuned for that. You also have a lot of music groups that come in. What kinds yes. of music are we talking about? What kind of groups? We always try to add a variety. We mm. like country. We like, uh, we have some groups that uh, are rock and roll all oh, the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, blues. And uh, some of them do all genres. So oh, yeah. it's, it's wonderful to, to to watch the different groups come in and just interact with the gr uh, with the audience that's already there, right? And then it just adds on. And new this year, we have pickleball, right? Yes. Tell yes. us about that. Uh, pickleball is very big in our community. Mm -hmm. In case anyone is not aware of that, it is a large, growing. Um, uh, sport mm -hmm. that um, so we wanted to partner with them we reached out to the local Henderson group mm -hmm. and uh, once we uh, talked with them about what we were wanting they ran with it and have done an amazing job of getting everything into place can people still register you can still okay. register I believe the deadline is April the 14th okay if I'm remembering correctly April the 13th, sorry okay. about that. That's okay. Um, and, but they can register up until that day. Okay. Um, they already have many registrations, so please I don't bet. wait. Yeah, and, but there's also cornhole, and yes. you have a 5K run, so you have a lot of stuff going on. Absolutely. And folks can find out more information on that on your website, and we'll have a link to that on our website, oh, too. So, I mean, and you've got a, a tractor pull for kiddos. The pedal tractor pull is so much fun, too. Yes, this Fireworks. is the second oh, year for that. I love that. <laughs> that is so, so much fun, fun to see. Yeah, the kids are adorable. <laughs> now, what's the most important thing I really want folks to understand here is that this is a, 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 an event that really really it's for the community but it gives back to the community talk yes. about that please yes uh, so what um, what we do with the proceeds for all the food vendors mm -hmm. is that what we um, they can apply local nonprofit organizations mm -hmm. can apply for a grant that is already on our website um, and then at the end of TriFest, when we realize how much monies we can disperse, then we look at, review, review all of the grants that have been collected, and all of that money goes back into the community. Uh, and as of right now, there's, there's question on, we haven't reached the million dollar, dollar mark yet, God, but close. we're have hoping to. to. Yeah. Yes, we you're are super getting close. close. Every year, you all give back to the community so much, and it's such a fun event. So mark it on your calendars for sure. This year, it is Friday, April 19th through late Sunday afternoon on April 21st. This is in downtown Henderson. Yes. You can't miss it. It's right there between Washington and Third Streets, and it's just a big old street carnival. So much fun. Mm -hmm. 
that. Mm -hmm. Rose Wheeler, thank you so much for joining us and talking about this great event in Henderson. And again, Friday, April 19th through Sunday, April 21st, Henderson TriFest. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Thanks so much. <laughs> well, hoping to be done with these cold temperatures.